good morning. This is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. And today I'm going to make something that I've never made before, but my nurse Regina told me about, so I'm going to give it a try. I've never even made acorn squash before, but this is acorn squash. This is what it looks like. And this is can be either a side dish or a dessert. But, um, well, first off, let me sh look, show you my knife. This is my new knife. This is the um, Zwilling Chef Knife, the 7 inch Chef Knife. And I am, I got the prep knife also, and I got the prep knife, which is not near as big as this is, for the same price as this. So I have two of the Zwilling um, knives now. And I'm tickled to death. I have never had a good knife yet. But I'm going to, I've turned it upside down. And I'm going to go right in the middle. And hope that this knife will do it. I'm scared to put, where there it goes. Alright, now. You can see the inside. I've got to scrape the these seeds and stuff out. Get all of that out. And I'll bring you back when I get these ready to do the um, the rest that I've got to do. Okay, I'm back. You can see these I've got all the seeds and all out of them. And um just wanted to let you know that acorn squash can be green or orange and one of the best benefits of acorn squash is it provides um, a lot of vitamin C it also has antioxidants um, nitrates folate <laughs> all this other bunch of stuff but the best thing that it does is your vitamin C and this recipe I can't wait to try this because I've never had acorn squash in my life. But the one thing that we're going to do now is I'm just going to sprinkle some regular table salt. And I'll bring you back. Somebody's at my door. Okay. It was Regina's husband. Alright. So anyway, now I'm going to put salt and pepper all in the bottom of these. Just sprinkle as much as you want. I'm a pepper person, so I'm probably going to put a lot of pepper in here, which I don't know how that's going to go, but we'll give it a try. And then for each half, and which I didn't get these straight, but that's, <laughs> that's the way it goes. This was the first time I've done it. For each half of acorn the acorn squash I'm going to put a half a stick of butter or margarine whichever you want in here all right so I've got that in here and this one is kind of little because <laughs> I didn't cut it right in half all right so there's two of them done Now I've got that in here. Alright, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to fill these up with brown sugar. And really pack it in because of the butter that's in there. This one, I don't know how to do this one. I'm just going to have to put in as much as I can. Right. 
work on that one. This is messy. I'm such a messy person. If I could ever cook without being messy, I'd be happy. All right. There's that one. Now I've got to push it down in this one. You're supposed to really push it down inside the inside here. This one can use a little bit more. And like I said, I've never eaten acorn squash in my life and I've never heard of to me, this will be considered like a dessert, but she said that it's really a side dish. And while I'm doing this, I've got my oven preheated, preheating to 375. Whoops. Well, that piece went down in there. All right. So I have these. All filled with the brown sugar and push down all right the next thing I'm going to do is I've got a can of roasted pecans salted roasted pecans and I'm gonna put those on the top and mash these down into the into the brown sugar I'm just going to try to use the whole can whole can of these hopefully because they've been in my freezer and I need to get them out Alright, now, in order to keep these moist on the, the outside, I'm going to put a little bit of chicken broth in the bottom of this casserole dish. Let me shake this up. It's been in my refrigerator. Just put a little bit. In the bottom so it'll steam and that's enough I think so then now I'm gonna put the top on this and put it in the oven and I think Regina said it takes about an hour and so is it an hour yeah okay she said it takes about an hour so this is going in 375 degree oven for an hour and I'll bring you back okay I'm back these were in the oven for about an hour then we took them out and put them on the top of the stove with the um, kept the lid on them for it's been about 30 minutes now and I'm gonna try these and see if I like it Regina's kind of anxious to see if I like it or not because I've never eaten these before so you can see that it's still got the the sugar and all in the top of it so I'm just gonna empty it all out <laughs> no. I'm gonna put it on my plate now Regina says that this would go really well with chicken or pork chops or something like that to me it I don't know I'm gonna taste it and see what it tastes like you have to after it's um, been in the oven 
you have to put your fork in it and push press down on it to make sure that it's done and of course you don't eat the peeling and once your brown sugar turns to a liquid if you want it to be sweeter you can pack it down again with brown sugar all right let me taste it Oh my gosh. That is. Wow. That is really good. That is really good. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Oh, I like that. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm going to have to do this again, y'all. This is amazing. It is really good. All right, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And you've got to try it because this is really good. <laughs> really. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And look below in the description part of the video for um, links where you can buy like a casserole dish like this and other things from Amazon. Also my link to my Facebook page, my Twitter, my Zaycom Foods, um, where you can get farm fresh foods. That is there. And I hope you have a great weekend and I will talk to you later. Bye.